The Hamilton County School Board is considering adopting a uniform cell phone policy. News 12's Nick Hill is live with what this means for students moving forward. Nick. Right now in Hamilton County, every school gets to decide their own cell phone policies. But according to board members, this is causing chaos inside the classroom. Uh, kids make drug deals during the school day on their telephones. Uh, they're setting up meetings after school. Uh, they're uh, getting fights together, staging fights, so somebody can, can film a fight and post it online. Currently, Hamilton County is one of a handful of school board districts in Tennessee who currently do not have a uniform cell phone policy. The Hamilton County cell phone policy is still in its early stages, and details are being hammered out. The rough draft of this policy restricts any photos or videos being taken on campus, especially in the case of any fight. It also prohibits any recordings done off school property that, quote, cause harm towards students and or a significant disruption in school, end quote. It splits the remainder of the phone policy between elementary and middle and high school students. The policy would allow middle and high school students to possess devices, but only be used at the direction of a teacher. It states that student-issued Chromebooks should be prioritized if technology is needed. For elementary students, usage of a cell phone would be limited to only before or after school, and any phones would be needed to be locked away in a backpack during the school day. There would be exceptions made for students with special needs, such as hearing and translation services. Thurman says there is some work to be done on the policy, but overall believes the board is trending towards adoption, and that it's an urgent decision even if it upsets some parents. I can understand some parental concerns, but, uh, but we also have to have some learning going on in these classrooms and right now it's so disruptive. We reached out to other school board members, but they were unavailable today or didn't return our call. The school board meets on Thursday night, but it's unclear if they will vote on a finalized resolution then. Reporting live, Nick Hill, News 12.